In this vid, I'm going to be doing my first deck review. In a previous vid, I took suggestions for what people would like to see come out of my channel, and I got quite a few people suggest doing deck reviews, and not just the typical deck reviews that you see other Poketubers doing, um, like what's good or bad about a Magnabor deck, you know, Yon Mega Resh um, Reshiram? <laughs> not Yon Mega Reshiram, although that'd be a different one. Um, Yon Mega Magnazone, um, but specifically deck reviews of specific decks from my Poketubers. So I've got a few submissions already, and um, essentially how this is going to work is you send me your list, or if you don't feel comfortable sharing your list, um, you could just send me like a skeleton of the Pokemon and trainers and supporters that you put in there. You don't have to give me essentially numbers, um, although numbers do help me, I think would uh, be able to do a better review on the deck. And um, then I'll make a vid like this, and I'm going to try out some different styles. I don't really have very high-tech editing equipment or anything like that. Um, but we'll see how it works. And um, don't be too harsh on me. This is my first deck review, but um, any criticism um, I can take pretty easily. Um, the one thing, this is the only thing I didn't show from my uh, stuff I got in Nationals vid, was the actual Nationals t-shirt, because um, it was in the laundry. So... It's been washed, and uh, I kind of like it. Um, fits pretty well, I think. You know, a little bit big, but that's all right. Um, so, on to the deck review. So, I'll be reviewing today Pokemon 2215's version of Magnabor. And he actually made a vid of it. Um, I'll go ahead and post the vid link in the description box down there. But I also went through his vid and just made a list of the cards that he put in here which I will um, go ahead and switch camera views and show you now and we'll run through some of the good things about this deck and some things that I think can be worked on. So let's take a closer look at Pokemon 2215's version of Magnabor. I've got the deck list written out in the background, although if you'd like to see the vid, um, like I said before, you can go down to the, to the description bar and just watch his video. Um, it's easier for me to write at the mouth so I can uh, just take a look at overall. Um, the first thing that I notice about this is that it only has 14 Pokemon in it and has 19 energy. Magnabor is known for running quite a few energy, but I still wouldn't recommend any more than probably 14 or 15. Right now, um, he has 19, which I think is a bit much. Um, the four, only having 14 Pokemon in his deck also makes me uh, worry a little bit. Um, there's only, let's see, for six basic Pokemon, which immediately uh, tells me that you're probably going to be mulligan mulliganing, if I can say the word right, a lot. So um, the first thing that I would suggest, one thing I do really like, is that you only have one Cleffa in here. Um, so far, quite a few people have been running, you know, three to four Cleffas in every single deck. This has been losing them quite a few games. Um, you know, Cleffas, as long as they're awake, they can take damage. And, you know, if you're not too lucky with those coin flips, you're going to be losing a lot of babies. So I do like that there's only one Cleffa. However, I would also add one more baby, a Tyrogue. Um, I would recommend Tyrogue in any deck that doesn't run Yanmega, um, simply because it can take out those babies pretty easily. And um, again, you know, you might have a chance of it staying asleep and being, being able to stall for a little while. So that's one addition that I think would help out just um, increasing the chance of um, drawing into a basic. Um, the other thing is that we only have one Magnezone, which I understand you only own one Magnezone, so we really can't increase uh, the 2 on one line to, um, I like, you know, 3 one three or 2 one two. but since you only have one Magnezone, we're going to have to just leave it with, um, with 2 one one It um, is really good, though, that you do have two Ability Embors. Um, right now you have a 2-2-2 two, two, two line, including... The promo Tepig, which I really like um, over the normal Tepigs. Um, if you actually have to attack with Tepig and you flip the heads on uh, Singe, burning your opponent could be very useful. Um, so I really like your choice of Tepigs. And again, the 2-2-2 line of Embor is very solid. Um, unfortunately, though, because you only have one Magnazone, Magnazone are, is, are typically your big attackers. So you rely on the Reshiram as um, a secondary attacker, or um, in this case, it may be your primary attacker. Um, 
you only have one restroom in the deck right now, because you only have one Magnazone, I would actually suggest that you could probably increase your restroom line to two, maybe even three. Um, essentially, you're just going to focus a lot on your restroom, um, and it may even be more of a Resher board deck rather than a Magna board deck, and you'll just have a one Magnazone tech in there for draw power. Um, you could even possibly just run a 1-1-1 one, one, one Magnazone with more Reshiram um, and, and focus the, the Reshibor a little bit more that way. Um, you also don't have a Rayquaza Deoxys Legend, um, which is what you typically see in Magnabor decks. This allows you to take an extra prize when it knocks one out and does 150. The Lightning and Fire energy also um, makes it ideal for this deck. But since you don't have it, you've added in a different legend, um, which I just grabbed the bottom half so that um, I can show you the attack. Uh, but you've added in Palkia Dialga legend. And um, honestly, at first when I saw this, I was like, oh, you know, I'd probably just take out the legend completely. But I do kind of like the, t the, the attack time control. Um, discard, uh, which, if you discard all metal energy attached to Palkia and Dialga Legend, you add the two, two top cards of your opponent's deck to his or her prize cards. This could be some major disruption. Um, and if nothing else, just stalls them a little while longer. So, um, honestly, I wouldn't even use Sudden Delete. So, to reduce that energy count, you have two water in there right now, I would take out the two water. Um, right now, you only have two metal. Um, I would increase that to probably three or four because um, you're only going to need to use time control once and then you can go ahead and let it get knocked out or retreat it um, you know do whatever you need to do um, but yeah um, I do kind of like time control and I'm interested to see if it actually works in play um, but my suggestion would just be you know get it out use the time control once and then don't worry about it again um, like I said, I wouldn't use Sudden Delete. I just worry about that one attack to disrupt your opponent a little bit. Um, so I think that's about it as far as Pokemon go. I would uh, suggest adding another Tyrogue, um, or adding a Tyrogue and adding some more Reshiram. Um, you might also want to consider for a d another attacker um, adding another Embor. Um, not the ability Embor, the bad Embor, which has the 150 attack. And then you could increase your Embor line to 323. That would increase your basic line as well. Um, so those are just some suggestions about the Pokemon. Um, now we'll move on to your trainers and supporters. Overall, I think you have a pretty decent list, um, but there's a few things that I don't quite like. Um, I'm not crazy about the energy switch. Um, yeah, I just don't really think it's that great of a card. And uh, I think it's more useful in decks that, um, uh, th that need to get energy off of the Pokemon, like if they're trying to use Blissey to heal. Um, so I really think that's not a necessary one. One card I noticed that you don't have in here that um, is typically seen in a lot of decks is Twins. Um, I like to run one Twins in every deck because you never know when you're going to be behind and you might need it. Um, so one Twins is something I would suggest. Uh, you have two Flower Shop, which typically um, you only run one of in a deck. But if you really like your Magnazone, um, since you only run one Magnazone, then maybe two may not be a bad idea for you. Um, I do like the two Juniper. Um, and with the two Juniper, maybe the two Flower Shop's a good idea just in case you have to discard it. Um, you have two energy retrieval. I might take out two of your energy search and put in two more retrieval. Um, and I suggest that because um, right now you don't have too many cards as far as draw power. So I would suggest um, adding either engineer's adjustments or sage's training and you know either like two or three of each. Um, Engineer's Adjustments, you discard an energy card from your hand and then get to draw four cards. Couple that with the Energy Retrieval, that lets you get your energy back. Same thing with Sage's Training. You look at the top five cards of your deck, you choose any two that you um, find there, put them in your hand, and then you discard the others. You can use this to discard those energy cards, um, pretty much get the good stuff out, and then use Energy Retrieval to get them back. So I would suggest putting in maybe a couple Sages or a couple Engineers and upping your line of Energy Retrieval, um, Energy Search, and again, Energy Switch can pretty much go out for that. 
you have two, two Pokemon Collector. Um, I kind of like to see three, either two Collector or maybe a Dual Ball uh, if you don't have the third Collector, just because you really want to get those early game. And even if you end up having to play them later game, you do run four Pokemon Communication, which is very good. Um, you may only need, honestly, three, four, maybe a bit too much, but that really depends on your play style. Because um, you can always collect her for a basic and then use communication to swap it for something bigger. Um, let's see. Uh, energy Returner is a trainer which allows you to put four energy cards from your discard pile back into your um, into your deck. I would probably suggest using a Fisherman instead. It does the same thing. It's a supporter, but it puts those four energy cards back into your hand instead of into the deck, which with Embor, you pretty much can automatically attach them anywhere you like. Um, let's see. Rare Candy, you only have one of. Um, you have Embor and Magnezone, which are two two-stage two lines. Um, I would probably want to see maybe two Rare Candy and just increasing the probability that you draw into them um, a little bit faster. You also have only one junk arm. I like two or three junk arm in every deck. Um, you never know what you're going to use it for. You can use it for those energy retrievals, the communications, um, the switches. There's just so many different things that you can use it for. Um, I really like increasing that line of uh, junk arm. Uh, you have two switch. Typically I only see one, but I honestly don't think two switch are a bad idea. Um, the two revive, I don't think, are really necessary. Um, it's kind of nice to put your restroom directly from your discard pile back into, uh, back onto your bench. But I think if you have any more restrooms and you don't need the full arts, you know, you can just use a regular hollows or reverse hollows. Um, if you increase your restroom line, I don't think you'll need those revives. Um, the two plus power, I don't think are totally necessary. But again, you never know when you might need a plus power, so I don't think that's um, a bad idea. Uh, let's see, the, um, oh, another card that might be helpful for hand refreshers, if you have your Magnezone in play and you find that you're able to get your Magnezone in play quite a bit, would be Judge. Um, this can seriously disrupt your opponent as well, and because you have Magnezone, you can automatically draw a couple more cards, and, uh, that way you're not really losing anything. Let's see, um, another supporter that you can use to try and refresh your hand a bit is Professor Oak's New Theory. You can also use Copycat, but in Magnabor, I really would suggest either sticking to Engineer's Adjustments, Sage's Training, or Judge. Um, because you only have one Magnezone, I might steer away from the Judge and focus more on Engineer's or Sage's Training. Um, the only other thing I believe in your deck that I'm not quite a fan of is the Legend Box. Um, I've seen way too many Legend Boxes just fail, and I think it'd be easier if you just drop a Legend Box, you know, increase that metal to that metal count to probably four, and use that instead to, um, you know, between that and your communications, you shouldn't have a hard time putting it down. Um, I've, like I said, I've rarely seen Legend Box actually work, and even when it does work, you know, you're not attaching that many energy, and in this case, it could work out to hurt you. If you get the legend box, you get the, the two legends that you have, and you get a bunch of, you know, fire or lightning, you don't want those attached there. Um, you know, you need those metals. So uh, that could be a big waste of energy for you. Um, so I think that pretty much goes over your supporters line. Um, overall, like I said, I like it. Um, made a few suggestions just to, to try and make it a little more consistent. And uh, let's just kind of end it with the energy line. Um, I mentioned this briefly in the beginning, but, you know, 19 energy is quite a bit. In my Magnabor deck, um, I believe I run 14 of just lightning and fire. Since you have the Palkia Dialga legend in here, um, you know, like I said, I probably increase that metal count to 4. I take out the water, and, um, you could probably bring your lightning down to 2 or 3, and then whatever else you need, I might stick it out at 15, um, you know, bring that to fire. Um, I think that might work a little bit better for you. I, I just, I, I have a hard time seeing the Palkia Dialga Legend, you know, you finding those two metal energy that you need. Um, I might also not worry about them being special metal. I might also go to, to basic metal, just because you can, uh, use those in sages or engineers, throw them away in the discard pile, and then right back with energy retrieval. Unfortunately, energy retrieval doesn't work on special metals, um... 
And uh, honestly, you're really not going to be doing too much with Palkia Diaga Legend, so hopefully it's not going to be active too long. Um, so I believe that's all the the talk I have to go on Pokemon 2215's version of Magnabore. I think Palkia Dialga Legend is a very interesting tech and one that I haven't seen before. Other than increasing that basic line, maybe changing up the supporter line a, a bit just because you don't have too many supporters and reducing that energy count, overall I think it's a pretty good deck. And I don't know if I should rate this, at, uh, you know, I haven't really decided if I'm going to do a rating system. Um, but I would say if I was rating this on a scale of, um, hmm, I might give it a 7 out of 10, uh, 10 being the highest. Um, you know, Magnabore is a pretty powerful deck, and I think if you can get this going with increased reshrooms, um, you might get this, you, you might have a really good shot. Um, when the new when the new Emerging Powers comes out, I would definitely put some Pokemon Catcher in here. And uh, that just increases the chance of you being able to get those knockouts. So uh, I hope you like my suggestions. And any criticism um, or suggestions on how I do my deck reviews, go ahead and post below. Or you can uh, send me a PM. If you would like me to review your deck, um, you can uh, just, like I said uh, in, earlier in the vid, just send me a list. Um, or, a, or even just a skeleton list of the Pokemon and supporters that you have in there without the actual numbers. And I'll do my best. And if you um, have any suggestions on a way you'd like to see your deck reviewed, or maybe even specific questions about your deck, um, please uh, add those along with it. And like I said, I'm open to comments, suggestions, any sort of criticism whatsoever. So, thanks for watching.